Now I'm pleased to welcome Mike Butler to the stage. Mike is a father of three boys and also an IT manager down at Optum in Cincinnati, which is a part of United Health Group. An interesting thing about Mike as well is that he's thinking and considering starting a DevOps Days Cincinnati. So if you're from Cincinnati and you're interested in being part of that, and I, I think there's a couple other states nearby there as well, Kentucky and Indiana, so you could be from the region and want to help create something new, you should talk to Mike. But what Mike's going to talk about right now is DevOps for tweens. Please welcome Mike. Hey, everybody. How's everyone doing? So I'm going to talk a little bit about DevOps for tweens. My name is Mike Butler. Uh, like you said, I'm an IT manager for Optum Technologies, part of United Health Group. Um, my, my focus there is build building our chef servers and um, supporting our entire environment. So these are my three sons. That's Trey looking goofy, Miles is in the middle, and Mason's over on the right-hand side. Uh, they have a great aptitude for coding. They've liked coding for quite a while, and uh, Trey has been doing first Lego League for the last few years. So this is where it started for me. Um, I started coding when, in, when I was seven years old in 1981 on an Atari 400 with a membrane keyboard. So when I saw the Atari up there, I was pretty excited. Um, my sister and I used to write Choose Your Own Adventures games. So today, kids are starting so much younger. They make a Coda pillar that has little thing, lines on it that you snap them together and it goes and do, does it. Uh, my kids did Scratch in second grade and now they're doing um, Lego Mindstorms, which is there. So what Lego Mindstorms is, is a controller and motors and sensors um, and then you program it with blocks, you slide them around, you put different if, if then else's and uh, wire everything together and then you can make a robot move like that. So uh, the first organization is a great organization. I'm not going to go into it because I don't have a whole lot of time. But they have uh, First Lego League and First Robotics. Please look them up. It was started by Dean Kamen in uh, 1989. Um, so First Lego League is a competition that has three basic parts. There's a project, uh, a robot build where they complete missions, and then they have to, in the, in the uh, tournament, they have to put their robots to the test, and they have three runs. Um, so when I'm a coach for their Lego League team, and we have to keep our hands off. We're not allowed coding for them. We're not allowed telling them what they are doing for their project. They have to come up with it on their own. They're allowed asking questions, and we can set some structure, but, and we can, we can do a code, but maybe not them. So acceptance testing is one of the things that they really have a hard time with, right? So there's you know, groups of two that are putting bots together, and then they put them on the table and run them, and then they go back and do it again and do it again. But that's not gonna be the bot that they use. Uh, the other issue they have is file saving. A lot of times they just save it on their shared drives and they don't version and you know, they go back and, and find the things that are not supposed to be there or there or the other way around. Um, and then during the project, it's not as fun as coding, so they just kind of forget to do it and they have stuff to do at home and they never go home and do, or never bring it back. So, you know, we have issues with things of, of holding accountability. Um, the day of the competition is just absolute crazy. It's about 12 hours long. They get there at 7 a.m. They have to do all their presentations. They can add missions to their day if, if they get their robot working good. So this is where I started Kanban and said, wow, this is going to work out really well if I just introduce some principles. So enter DevOps for tweens. So doing some principles, like um, we'll talk about here in a minute, you know, we can set some structure, and, and that's kind of direction. Um, Stand-ups. So I want to initiate daily stand-ups so they can say, oh, this is what I'm going to do today, and go get it done. Um, this will hold them accountable. If they had stuff that they had to do over the weekend, they can stand up and say, I did my thing over the weekend, or I didn't do my thing over the weekend. Uh, another important thing for acceptance testing is having a master builder. So. They never had one person that was responsible for putting the code on the bot itself. Um, it was always just somebody would put their thing and it never got done. So, and then code repository, documenting and saving code. That's the one space I really struggle with myself. So how to teach them how to do that? Because you're not going to teach kids Git. Uh, it's a little bit too concept. 
uh, and doing Kanban. So every day, this is what we have to do when they come up with some. oh, we need to program this little piece. Go put it on the board. When you're done with your piece, take it, move it over, move it over, move it over until you're done. Um, so, and lastly, doing uh, post-incident uh, reviews. So when there are things that are a fail, let's get back together and review it and figure out, you know, how can we do this better? Especially after the competition, come back together and just do a really big PIR. So, you know, we want to teach them the ways of the DevOps because they're learning coding now. So the, the things that we talk about on practices for DevOps, we should be teaching that to them as well. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it. I really do, if, if you don't know what Mindstorms are, don't know what First Lego League is, go research it. First Lego League is a great organization to teach, to teach the kids different things. Thanks.